what I'm suggesting. Um, Donald Trump is just, you know, some of the things that we, that we, that I'm speculating here. One is that he was doing this in collaboration with Russia and Saudi Arabia at the very least, and, and possibly China. Um, although, who knows? But, you know, uh, President Xi getting very, very aggressive with Taiwan. If America was no longer a defender of, a defender of democracies, it would be a huge boon to China. Russia, obviously, you know, in 2019, Putin was planning his attack on Ukraine. And at the same time that Trump was planning his reelection, I think there's a connection between the two. And, uh, you know, and, and if Trump got reelected and declared himself emperor for life and then pulled the United States out of NATO and broke our alliance with the European Union and basically realigned ourselves, you know, us with Russia, China and Saudi Arabia. It, it, it just it just makes a whole lot of sense. I mean, and, and by the way, this this is something. I mean, you look at the fact that Donald Trump has taken all these top secret documents. Now, the Washington Post just revealed this weekend, just yesterday in the Washington Post, that Trump was traveling with top secret documents, including things that that might. Well, they didn't explicitly say it might have it revealed our spies, but he was traveling with top secret documents and leaving them in hotel rooms in hostile countries. Now, why would you do that? Unless you were like, OK, Vlad, here you go. You know, yeah, let's hang out in Helsinki and I'll just leave this stuff in my hotel room and you can send your spies in there. Also, you know, you've got Kushner delivering information to Mohammed bin Salman. This this from the Jerusalem Post. This is back in 2018. Kushner, the son-in-law of President Donald Trump and the Crown Prince, had a late October meeting in Riyadh. A week later, Mohammed began what he called an anti-corruption crackdown. The Saudi government arrested and jailed dozens of members of the Saudi royal family in a Riyadh hotel. Among them, Saudi figures named in a daily classified brief read by the president and his close advisors that Kushner read avidly. According to the report, Mohammed told confidence, confidants that he and Kushner discussed Saudi identities in the classified brief as disloyal to Mohammed. So here you have Jared Kushner handing off to MBS the names of Saudis who are not loyal to him he puts them in jail, he tortures some, he killed one. And then what happens to Kushner? What, you know, well, you know, Kushner gets a billion dollar bailout of his 666 Fifth Avenue building. Most people have forgotten about that. And then on top of that, of course, he gets his $2 billion. What's going on with this stuff? What say you?